Why did you save the girl? Easy question. So I got to start with the most important question. First, congrats on the movie. But if someone has never seen a John Woo film, besides this, uh, because obviously you're going to say this, uh, what's the one that you want them to start with? Ooh. Well, I said the original. Yeah, I said the killer of the original. Yeah, the killer of the original is pretty spectacular and just iconic. Um, but I think my other favorite is um, Face Off, and I just think that movie is so excellent. And yeah. Oh, I'm I'm in full agreement. Face yeah. Off is phenomenal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like no missteps, no mm -hmm. notes, no. A plus. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Ten out of ten. Yeah. When you were working with him, did he ever tell you why he's obsessed with pigeons? No. 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 I never asked. I didn't even ask. I mean, never Which ask. We're terrible. Yeah, we yeah. should have. Yes. I've always been wondering this because in all in like a lot of his movies, there's it's pigeons lot, all the time. Yes. But but but, but actually, it was it's it's something. It's part of him that you. You don't question that because it's just him, you know. It's like you know, it's like asking about the color of the hair, you know. It's just it's just you, right? So maybe that's why we never asked because this John Woo is like just pigeons all the time. <laughs> yeah, I think um, I, well, I think birds generally are just very elegant creatures, and there's a sort of you know a mystique to them and a kind of romance to them, which I think John pours into his films. Like there's a elegance and a sort of it's almost like balletic almost you know and I think that that is something that that John has in his style of directing and the way that he shoots so it almost kind of feel, symbolizes that to me like you know and they look great in slow motion yeah. oh a hundred percent yeah so one of the things about this film is listen this is not some huge budget movie where you have all this time in the world yet this thing has a ton of action and like brutal action and i want to specifically talk about the hospital and the church scene mm -hmm. what is it and also the dance i mean actually there's a lot of set pieces <laughs> so what was it like for the two of you knowing how much physicality was going to be required and that you were not going to have like 10 days to shoot this yeah. you need to get it in like yeah. quick it's the, preparation is key and the, the the process of learning that choreography perfecting that that choreography um really helped us shoot it much more efficiently and quickly and like when you really know what you're doing and where your body has to be and where your arm has to land or your leg has to land like you have a lot of freedom and um you can repeat it many many like times and you it's so in your body that you don't have to think about it as much and so uh, it means that you get more successful takes and you can move on quicker and it's just you just get there sooner and so that preparation was essential. And I feel very confident, much more confident when I really know what I'm doing, because it's also about safety at the end of the day. And like, I don't, I know that stunt performers, they're, they're paid to kind of put their bodies on the line and, you know, they get hit and hurt all the time, I'm sure in like, not in a, hopefully in not in a serious way, but like they're used to kind of getting knocked about a bit. And but I don't want to be the person that does that to you. So I want us to really know what we're doing and know so we can get it and everyone goes home safe. <laughs> That's what, you know. Yeah. And and we were also prepared like mentally like but when you say yes to a journal movie, you know that what 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 it's gonna take. Like you'll have to like physically be ready to do it and, and, and ready to like, like have this, the, the stamina to, 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 for the whole shoot. And then the, the, yeah, the, the training was the key and we, we were trained, well trained. And we're also, we had like, we were surrounding by an amazing team of stunt. And then, and, 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 and during the process of, of shooting, we were also like training and training and training. And then, and it, 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 it and it's transformed all of that to a lot of fun actually it was, Fun to do all of that. It was very interesting, but uh, come on, the um, um, yes, fun. I don't. Sorry, I'm just thinking for a word, but fun would be the the word. But it was fun to the, the fun process. It was a fun ride to um to do all of that actually. In in the film, which shot or sequence was the one you're like, how the f are we gonna do this? Like, what was the one that was the backbreaker for each of you? I think the, um, the just the final church sequence, there's just so many parts to it. There were so many pieces. Um, it, there was just a lot. There's the outside parts, the inside parts. There's like wire work. There's bikes and explosions and 
squibs and bullets. It's like there was just so much to do and it was a lot of shooting. I feel like that was a good two weeks, mm -hmm. yeah. maybe. Mm -hmm. And really, it probably, if you know, like you were saying before, like if we got two, four weeks to shoot all that, that probably still would have been a challenge, you know? So we really had to be very clear about, they had to be really organized and clear about what they wanted to do and how they wanted to shoot it. And we just had to show up and be ready and um, to, to get it. So um, it was, but when we, I just remember on that last day when we were shooting in the church, just being like, oh, I can't believe we did that. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Like we did it. It's crazy. It's amazing. And I was just very proud of it when I saw the movie, so. Sure. Which one was for you? Same, same. The, the church was a big piece, the big piece because like she said, like it was before, in, in, the, in outside, inside, before, after, and, and, and the pieces were so like chopped, like uh, this, this is happening at the same, because it was like simultaneous actions that I was here like fighting and Z was there fighting. So we had like to combine everything, even in your mind was something like very special. And it was like in the, the rare, uh, times of in the movie that you have like stunt and action and then acting um, scenes at the same time. Sometimes it's acting scenes, action scenes was separate. And in church, we have like both. Like it was mm -hmm. like switching the mode in the same day was like also kind of challenging too. Um, I'm just about out of time. I want to ask about uh, something else for each of you. Um, I'm a big fan of Joe Carnahan and I wanted to know if, what you can tease about Shadow Force and working with him. And for you, I've seen Coppola's Megalopolis, and one of the things about it is that it's unique and original, and it like pushes narrative filmmaking forward. So talk a little bit about what you're excited for audiences to see and the privilege of getting to work with him. Ooh, um, yeah, I mean, it's, I, th I think that film is very, very hard to kind of categorize, you know, in terms of genre, it's something that, you know, Francis very much said, okay, I, I see what everybody's been doing and what's kind of, trendy right now or what the what the um yeah like what filmmaking or cinema has become and he's like I'm just gonna do my own thing and I felt very like um proud to be a part of something like that that felt like it was breaking barriers and pushing uh, boundaries and yeah I just felt like we um it, it was just a very unique um experience and obviously to work with such a celebrated filmmaker is and see how they work. It's just, there was so much to learn and I just soaked as much of it up as I could. Sure. For Joe, I'm, I'm also um, a, a big fan of, of Joe Carnahan. He's amazing, an amazing director who had a lot of fun to to, to shoot Shadow Force with Kerry Washington. And it, it, it's coming, it's coming. It's another action movie and a um, lot of fun too. A lot of fun too to shoot. On that note, I need to stop. Uh, congrats on this. Thank I you. really hope it's a big hit for you guys. And Thank good you. luck with your speed dating.